The Multnomah County DA brought felony charges against 10 people for violent protests and riots that occurred months ago. Three people were charged in connection with vandalism at the Multnomah County Democrats offices on Northeast Sandy Boulevard in November. Six others faced felony charges for destruction on January 20th, Inauguration Day, when a group of vandals dressed in all black smashed windows and spray painted the Democratic Party of Oregon building. One other person is charged with breaking windows on April 23rd during a demonstration in downtown Portland. In several cases, arrests were made, but the charges were dismissed only to be refiled months later. In April, Portland police urged the DA's office to go back and revive some of these old protest cases. We're seeing a lot of the same people at these events night after night after night. Around the same time, Multnomah County DA Mike Schmidt emphasized that people who are destroying property and committing violence will be prosecuted. The violence and property destruction we've seen in Portland for nearly 11 months now is unacceptable. Portland Mayor Ted Wheeler asked the public to stand together and help take the city back. Our job is to unmask them, arrest them, and prosecute them. Recent court filings suggest police have been relying on undercover surveillance, either near or within crowds demonstrating to make arrests. In unrelated cases, prosecutors describe using confidential informants, FBI surveillance units, and FBI agents in plain clothing to help identify those committing crimes during protests. Civil rights activists questioned those surveillance tactics, arguing they might deter law-abiding citizens from participating in demonstrations and undermine trust between police and the community. Kyle Aboshi, KGW News.